What about ETFs, Jack? I mean, are there too many of them? It seems like they're so specialized, they kind of defeat the purpose of what they were created for. I couldn't have said it better myself. All right, and you it, wax on uh, it. You're, you're the uh, expert. The, the reality is there are too many. They're too narrowly diversified. They're too speculative, and they're traded far, far, far too often. The Standard & Poor's Spider, so-called S&P 500 ETF, is the most widely traded stock in the world every day. It turns over at 6,000% a year, Andy. And for me, conservative investor, I think 3% turnover is kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. So what about mutual funds versus ETFs? Where do you come out on that? Which one's better? Well, we have, I have three categories. One is index funds, which are divided into the two categories. Traditional index funds, like that S&P 500 fund that I started back in 1975. Which has how much money in it now? Well, all our index funds together have around $3 trillion. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're, they're designed to be bought and held forever, the right. traditional index fund. I call them TIFs. The ETFs is the second component that makes up the index funds. And they, that's where the big trading is. And it's amazing in the, uh, in the market decline, Andy, of, uh, if from, I guess, the, the, the 2007 high to the 2007 low, 2009 low, Money came in, ca positive cash flow for the traditional index funds every single month. And the, the ETFs, 40 billion out that month, 40 billion in that month. I mean, it's, it's just incredible. And uh, so it's, it, it, the idea is to buy and hold American business forever. And gambling is trading back and forth, buying triple leverage, which you can do with an ETF, and betting whether the market's going up or down. These things are rank speculations. They just make no sense for investing. So, uh, and the remainder of the fund market, which is about uh, two thirds of the mutual fund market, are actively managed funds, and they're struggling. Uh, you know, Vanguard alone, in the last 15 months, has taken in, I think it's $400 billion, and the whole mutual fund industry has taken in 350, counting us. So the rest of the industry has lost $50 billion in that period. They're not happy about it. Active managers are not happy, but they don't know what to do. They can't <laughs> tell their managers, go, go perform better, because in the long run, as a group, they're average before cost, and they're below average after cost. All this is so simple that I wonder how it could possibly have taken all those years until 1975 to start the index fund, and why nobody else started one. <laughs> right.